So for step six, it might sound confusing, but you need to start on one section. So with the circle, we have a section that's inside the circle, and then we have the section that's all of these lines outside of the circle. This one here, it looks like it has four sections, but basically with the X, these two triangles, so this one and this one are the same section, and these ones and these ones are the other sections. So I'm gonna start with the circle first because the circle is easier to explain. And I'm gonna turn my paper this way, okay? I need to start on a side. So I like to always start on the right side because then I work away from that and I don't smear. If I started here, I would then go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one. And I'm smearing everything on the paper that I've just gone over. Now you'll notice I'm using a black colored pencil. You can use a black crayon if you don't have colored pencil. Um, you could really do this all in marker as well, but I would stay away from washable marker um, just for the smear factor. So you have to work with one section at a time. That's, that's the main rule. Okay. And you're going to start by going every other black, white, black, white, black, white. Okay. And you got to look close because if we zoom in here, okay, see this little itty bitty section right there. That's gonna make a big difference, okay? So I'm gonna actually start with that little section as being my black. Okay? And you're not really gonna have to push that hard. What you are gonna have to do is color inside the lines and stay inside the lines. So I'm gonna zoom out a couple times. That way you can kind of see. So I did this one, which means this one's white and you gotta go one by one because if you start Whatever, you don't want to make a mistake here. So this one was black. This is white. Okay. And you're just going to color the uh, space in between the lines. So think of it as a row. Seeing students push harder when they get to where the two sections touch and be lighter in the middle. Um, we don't need to get too confusing, but I would go light to start and you can always go darker later on. What is very important is to stay inside the lines. So black, white, black, white, which means this next one needs to be black. So again, whenever you get by a line, Really going nice and slow. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to hope that you understand. And then I'll show you what it looks like on the X. So no matter what shape you chose, if you're doing this, no matter what shape you chose, you're still starting inside the shape, going black, white, black, white, black, white, starting at one side and working your way across. So I'll do one more, and then I'll show you the X. For it to be an optical illusion, you have to stay inside the lines. It is a must. So going slow, we are not going to uh, go too fast. This is going to take everyone a certain amount of time. And so I will be gauging my face-to-face -face students on how much time they need. And video seven will probably not come out for a day or so. So I would then skip one, do the next one, and so on, all the way until I got to the edge of the circle. Now for this one. 
<clears throat> with the X, I find that it's really important to start on the, the same line. Um, so I'm going to start in the middle and you can either um, start and do these sections. So this triangle and this triangle, or you can do this triangle and this triangle. And what I'm going to do, I think, is we're going to do these ones here. I'm going to zoom out again. Okay. So they need to be colored the same. So I'm looking for one that I know is in the same box. So we're going to start by making this one black. And I got to be really careful because I don't want to color in. There's a little itty bitty section and I don't want to get anything inside of this triangle. And then it's going to be this one. Now, again, I've seen some really interesting uh, optical illusions where they have this X like this and they push harder, closer to these lines. And then by the time they get out, they are really soft. So... What I mean by that is going really soft on the outside, getting darker as you go in, like a value scale would be the definition word. So you can see how it's gradually getting lighter. All right. Do you have to do that? No, you can do just like you did with this one where it's solid black. Okay, so now I'm gonna go all the way over and just get this one done. The main reason being, because I need to know where I should start with this triangle. And so with the other one where we did just the inside of the triangle, you are doing just the vertical, or well, just the opposite triangles. Right, I'm gonna go back and make this one dark too, all the way. Again, it's just an option. For those of you that wanna challenge yourself. So then we would skip this one and then this one would be black. Okay, skip one. I would do this one. And then I would go this way. And sadly, I know you guys are in fifth grade, but I will be grading you by how well you colored and stayed inside the lines because that will make the optical illusion. All right. And so I would then do the same thing. So I would color this section, skip this one, color this one, skip this one, color this one. And I'm not gonna worry on this step, I'm not gonna worry about these triangles at all, okay? So I would go both ways. This would get it, this would get it. Okay? And I would go all the way until I was at this corner, I would go all the way until I was this corner, I'd do the same up here, all right? With not doing anything to these. Same with this one. If you're doing a shape, start on one side, go all the way to the other side, going every other. Do not do anything to the outside sections. Good luck. Take your time. <laughs>